What's up guys? If you're like me and you like to tinker around with complex systems, you might want to do research on Active Directory. If you are interested in Active Directory, you might know how the LDAP works. The LDAP is basically a catalog which holds users, groups and a lot of objects of Active Directory inside the Windows Server. Active Directory uh, has a subsystem called LDAP, which is basically a catalog uh, which holds all the users, groups and objects of the Active Directory. And this catalog is very useful when you need to find information about the attacks that you are going to launch uh, against specific users, groups and resource uh, machines or anything that you want. So if you want to perform research on the LDAP of uh, an Active Directory, but you want to do that offline, uh, for example, because you are no longer in the engagement, uh, it, it's uh, between two days of engagement and you need to come home. Uh, if you want an alternative to Blowdown and it ju if just uh, you want to play around with an another LDAP format, I wrote a tool which is called LDAP to JSON, which allows you to dump a whole LDAP into one big JSON file with all its uh, user properties, uh, and all the objects with the object tree of the or original LDAP. So then you can use it offline in order to, to extract uh, specific information and to play with it. So the first thing you need to do is to go in GitHub and uh, on github.com uh, slash podarius slash LDAP to JSON. Uh, the link will be in the description. And as you can see, we have here the repository of the tool, uh, which contains all the information that you might want. Uh, in the README, you have uh, examples, you have its features, uh, you have the LDAP offline analysis tool also, which is given with uh, the tool. So to use the tool, all you need to do is to copy paste this URL and go into a terminal. In your terminal, you just have to type git clone and then the URL that you got from the GitHub repository. This will clone all the files of this tool uh, locally and you will have a new folder called LDAP to JSON locally. You can then go inside the LDAP.json uh, folder and you will have all the files of uh, this repository. And uh, the only one that will be useful to us in this presentation will be the LDAP.json.py. Uh, which is the, uh, the actual tool, um, uh, Python tool. To launch this tool, all you need to do is to type Python free uh, and then LDAP to JSON. And if you do only this, you will have an help message because you are missing a lot of options. And um, if you want to authenticate to a domain, you have the choice between uh, user and password, uh, pass the hash and uh, pass the ticket. So in our case, we are just going to do a simple, a simple authentication with LDAP with minus D the domain. So it's lab.local uh, minus U administrator minus P admin123 and, 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 and the most important option DC IP, which holds the fully qualified domain name or the IP address of the domain controller that you want to contact to perform LDAP queries. So in our case is 10.0.0.101. If you just launch that, it will dump the LDAP uh, without, uh, without debugging information. You will have all your LDAP inside the LDAP.json file that was created in about one second here because they have a very small domain. But uh, when you are doing that in uh, vast domains with um, thousands of users and thousands of machines, it can take up to one or two hours, depending on how many objects they are. So in this case, it's very, very fast. And if we look at the content of the LDAP.json, as we can see, we have all the objects with uh, the empty security descriptor, which uh, will be part in of another video that I will, uh, I will publish later. But uh, we also have like advanced fields that are not uh, shown by default, like the empty security descriptor. 
and you have all the objects that you all the properties of the objects that you would expect in a, a traditional LDAP. So now that you have your LDAP.json file offline, you can uh, write uh, your own tools in order to analyze it. You can uh, parse it with uh, GQ, for example, if you are in a, a parse terminal. And uh, if you want, there is a small analysis tool which is uh, packaged inside this repository, which is called analysis.py. You can just do python free analysis.py and minus F for the uh, LDAP JSON file that you, do, that you dumped. LDAP.json. So all the objects are loaded and if you do tab, uh, you have an auto completion of uh, po possible commands. And for example, if you want to do object by property value, you will search on all the objects that have one property with the values that you, you, will, um, you will give. For example, I want to find uh, an object with which its value, one of its value has the value administrator. I will find uh, the, the distinguished name of the administrator account, which holds three properties with the value administrator, which are CNAME, name, and uh, um, some account name. Thank you for following this video. I hope it was interesting to you. And if you are interested in more content like this, please hit the subscribe button and see you soon.